Hey, what are these freaks doing here? Let's get on the show. What does this say? Hmm. Hey folks, it's Brick from the 125. Um, today I'm just going to share a little Hill Factory mock I made. I am not a big fan of Hill Factory, and this is a mock, so I broke things in my opinion. So, I'm happy with what I made. Um, I just made up a new series called The Savage Series. And so we have Savage Finger and his motorbike. Um, story, 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 story. Um, the story for this was, it is like the 6.0 series, except the heroes are still portable figures. So let's go ahead and take a look at these two things. And so, um, here's what it looks like riding on his motorbike. I moved the shoulder cannon to the left to get this pose. And um, another thing I forgot to mention in the story is he was sent out to battle the queen. And yeah, that is that was his mission. Okay. And I am only doing stringer because he's the only one I have. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, so let's take a look at this at all different angles. Yeah, this thing cannot stand up on its own with all this weight. Actually, the motorcycle is very, very light. The mo most, most of the weight um, is actually on Stringer. And plus, he's sitting in the front only. And he's not really laying down. So, he's all the way in the front, so that's why I can't stand up. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, take him off the motorbike, see what that looks like, and then I'll show you the character. Okay, so here, that is the motorbike itself. Just the motorbike. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you better angles at this with Ouch, finger on. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I can stand up now because it has less weight. And I'll show you what this is all about later. And yeah, those are the ankles. And now I'm going to show you what is going on. What's going on in the motorbike. So, uh, Stringer will put his feet here. Um, or claws. Because I put claws on him. Um, I added this extra pin because, um, oops, oops, that's supposed to happen. Uh, I added these extra pins so he can free, put his foot there, feet there, because this axle actually turns and then I would put, if you were to press his feet down hard on there, um, the uh, wheel would turn. Speaking of turning, you have a turning motion, but not, I couldn't, I was trying to go for the actual turning wheel, but I kind of got it, at least. And I was very happy to use this piece, because it kind of looked good for the front. And you put his two hands here, although he only has one. And then you have some spike, Technic spike pieces over here. I chose white, not red, because this, the front already had a lot of white. I mean red. Um, gears for the wheels because then is then the wheels can tread through rough terrain. Um, I'll show you what these are all about later. And these are actually um flick missiles right here. Give me a closer look right there. And yeah, um, fully rotatable. You can bring them down to the ground. Oop, get back. Okay. And so for the tips are transparent orange, gold, transparent orange. Same as the back. And then I'll show you what these are. And then for the back we just have spike pieces just filling it up for detail. And here you have four on either side of these for these. I mean, two on either side of these in total of four. And then this red 
technique barb, red technique barb. And then you flail these white barbs around. Um, this, I already mentioned that, I'll show you later what that is. Again, you got the gear wheels. And, alright, now let's move on to the playability actions. You know what, that's happened so much. I'm just gonna show you that one first. Yeah, this is it's, it's compactable mode. And whoa, okay. Once you put all um into compactable mode, um it really adds weight up in here because there is nothing supporting it, so it will just flip back. And I did not notice that until now actually. But the funny thing about this, and I'm not sure if I made this intentional, you get a clown bike. Uh huh, uh huh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, is funny. And so, yeah, um, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the other playability feature I forgot to show you. I'm gonna switch it back into uncompatible mode because you have too much weight on the back. And these, these, um, these are actually kickstands. You take um, this off, take just this wheel off, and you kick it out. Oh, just take it off. And then those, you can, don't just leave those, you can just put them on here. And then same as the other side, and you can't just have one kickstand because it's not very stable, so. I put in two, just to make measures correct. Um, I'm just gonna put these back, so I can get this one off. Oh, it yeah, came off easily. Mm, and there we go. Okay. And so, yeah, this motorbike threw onto the um, stringer, or the side of the stringer. And so here he is. Now let's go ahead and take a look at different as different angles. Uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. And now I'm just gonna go through first the parts, then um, the flexibility, then the weapons. Actually, I think I might just do the weapons and then the flexibility. Doesn't matter. Okay, so he all. The Savage Heroes, even though I'm only doing Stringer, will would have um, a three prong feet. Although if they're the small character, then two prong. Uh, they would have a shoulder cannon for sure, and they would have um, the 1.0 parts, which I did too. I just replaced Savage. I just for Savage Stringer, I just used three prong feet. Um, I just added the second and shortest bones, two of them on each arm, and the orange arm of the black hand with the three fingers. This, um, tell you that in the weapons section. Same 1.0 body and chest, and same Lutorian inspired head, and same 1.0 helmet. Um, and so, yeah, for the weapons. Um, this is called a Reza Shield, because, yeah, all the heels will have this too, because, uh-huh, 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 oh, what's supposed to happen? Well, it's supposed to spin, it's supposed to be a higher powered spinning blades that spins so fast that it basically turns into a razor sharp circle. Well, you, um, I guess you could, like, stringer... 10 stringer can get these split, get these split off is actually supposed to be a double sided weapon and you can hold that for a melee weapon and um yeah let's go ahead and look at the flexibility of your thing okay I'm just gonna Sit him down. Oh, whatever. Okay, so in the legs, not maximum joints on the feet. That's okay. 
um, maximum joint, maximum movement on the upper body bones, whatever. Okay, now let's sit him down so you can see his arms. Uh, right there. Lot of lots of room because there's no armor. So yeah. His hand is okay. It's fine. And then this arm move a lot. Go all kinds of different poses. And for the okay. Let's not get him in an awkward pose. Okay, so for the head one ball joint and for the flexibility of this you can set the side and up and down and then you can see how I built the shoulder cannon and the shoulder cannon is I'm going to shoot it at you is the ball shooter turns out that shot at me and not the camera I wish it did. Okay, and so, yeah. That is Stringer. Savage Stringer. Okay, so remember how I said at the beginning we had an interchangeable arm? Well, by interchangeable arm, I mean arm tool. This is his grapple hook that was actually attached to his arm. And that was where it was, it was on the back of the bike, right there. Okay, and so, yeah. Go ahead and put the camera on the stand, and I'm gonna show you how this thing works. Gonna be on this fist. Okay, apparently the camera doesn't want Oh, there we go. Okay, so put this piece up and find this piece and uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. And then you get the main string and clamp it. And then it ain't going anywhere. So now let's see what it looks like from. So let's see what it looks like swinging. Oops, here it goes. So, yeah. Alright, so, um, for the back, you can attach the spinning razor shield. Um, I added these small tactic lift arms on either side, so can't spin, so it won't get into stranger's way. Okay, I just wanted to show you what stranger looks like holding his. Alright folks, thank you for watching, hope to talk to you again next time, and bye.